But God wants you to know if you're really a child of God, if you really take this to heart, na ang tatay mo ay ang Diyos, alright? If God is for you, who can be against you? But let's, you know, let's be honest. Hello? Sometimes we feel like God is against us. Hello? Sino rito yung ganon? I-type mo. I-type mo yung sarili mo. Kaya yung. Have you ever felt at times God is against you? And we're talking of despite doing everything according to His will and to His ways, okay? Wala kang ginagawang kasalanan. Bakit parang si Lord is, is against me? Bakit ako pa yung nagkasakit? Bakit ako yung na-retrench na sa trabaho? Ito ba matindi? Yung mga koloko sa labas, yung mga makasalanan, parang sila yung kakampi ni Lord. Meron ka bang ganun? Yung kapigbahay mo na talaga, alam mong makamundo, siya pa yung may bagong kotse. Tapos ikaw, sawa-sawa ka na sa BM mo, B- BMX, hindi maging W talaga eh. Hanggang X lang. So, mukhang kakampi ng mga kasalanan yung John. Na- na- experience yun na ba yun? O ako lang talaga rito yung nakaka-experience nun. Let me tell us the story of Ruth and Naomi. Short lang to. Remember si, si Naomi? Right? Uh, she's married with two sons. And then, namatay isa-isa. Yung, yung husband niya muna. And then, yung dalawa niyang anak na mga married as well. Parehong nangamatay. And we see the story in Ruth uh, chapter 1 na mamaalam na siya sa dalawang manugang niya. And, and, and ito yung kanyang conclusion nung namamaalam siya sa dalawang manugang niyang babae. Sabi, because the Lord's hand has turned against me. And maybe that's you. Maybe you're the Naomi today. Maybe you feel like the Lord's hand has turned against you. But you know what? Little did she know that God has a plan for her and her daughter-in-law, na si Ruth. In fact, when the time comes, okay, the plan of God slowly unfolds. Na meet po ni Boaz, itong manugang niyang si Ruth. Alam niyo conclusion ni Naomi? Oh, basa. Basa, nasa root, chapter 2, verse 20. Dadapwat ngayon na lamang ang pa... Hindi, hindi yun, okay? Ito, basa, okay? Ang sabi po ni Naomi, He has not stopped showing His kindness. Wow! Kanina sinasabi lang niya, uh, The Lord's hand is against me. And then, once the story unfolds, she came into the conclusion, God has not stopped showing His kindness to the living and the dead. Wow! She came to that conclusion that God was working all along in accomplishing His purpose, not hers. You know the story. I mean, Ruth, right? Her daughter-in-law married Boaz, who bore Obed, who bore Jesse, who bore King David, where Jesus Christ's lineage came. Wow! Grabe, no? So don't ever think that you are... Uh, you feel now that God is against you, kapit ka lang. Keep doing what's right. Keep holding on to God. Don't give up. Don't, don't be swayed by sin. Don't be derailed. Don't compromise. Kapit lang. Because I believe one day you're gonna say, He has never stopped showing His kindness to me. That's the God we're serving. Come on now. Pumalakpak lamang kayo dyan. Pumalakpak lamang kayo dyan sa screen. All right? God loves you. God will carry you through your life's disappointments because God is for us. Another story, para lalo ka talagang makonvince. Si Joseph. Kaya si Joseph? Bonifacio. Hindi yun ba yun? Si Joseph the dreamer. Si Joseph. Bright future for this young guy. Merong vision sa kanya si Lord na he's gonna be a great leader one day. Okay, ginawa ng magandang, uh, parang ganito yun. Kaya ako to sinuot eh. Yung colorful na... <laughs> Yung colorful na, ano tawag doon, Ray? Yung robe, okay? Ginawa ng tatay niya ng colorful robe. Na bad trip yung sampung kapatid, na inggit. Okay, tinry patayin, pero sayang naman kung papatayin natin. Binenta sa slave, nung nandun na po kay Potiphar, wrongly accused of rape, in prison, forgotten by the cup bearer na inasahan niyang ilalabas siya sa kulungan. And what, what was going on in his mind kaya? Siguro sabi niya, I thought you have given me a dream, blah, blah, blah. Ano kaya niisip niya habang nakakulong siya sa piitan na yun? And then, lo and behold, katulad din po ni Naomi, as the plan of God unfolds, many years after, he's now the second in command in the whole world. We're talking of the whole world, not just Egypt. They're the most powerful nation at that time. Ano sabi niya sa mga kapatid niya, nung, nung nireveal niya sarili niya, as for you, you meant evil against me? But God, you know those two words, itype mo dyan, itype mo, 
but God. Yun ang inihintay natin. In the midst of uncertainties, I do believe there are the but God moments in your life. I do believe that in the midst of troubling times, in the midst of the pandemic, you're gonna encounter but God moment. Look up here. Tingin ka rito. Ata, yung naka-duster na blue. Lagi, alam mo, may nagko-comment sa akin, Pastor, ako yung naka-duster na blue. Ba't alam mo? O oh, ate, ikaw ulit. Suot mo na naman yan. Yung nakapula. Yung nakapula ngayon. Yung nakachinelas na Sparta. Tingin ka rito. Okay? Tingin ka rito. Okay? Kumakain ka man ng cornic. Tingin ka rito. Sabi niya, as for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good. Wow. You may not see it now, but God is with you. God is for you. If you're a child of God, right? God is for you and who can be against you?